magic and lightning, but so it's a lot harder for me to just get zoned out. But he still takes significantly less damage from me. That's a big room. Yeah, it is. Ow, 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 ow. I'm going out the other side. All right. That one, uh, that just... <clears throat> my, my defense is really low compared to what it should be. I haven't geared in a long time. Uh, but, um, yeah, Jared, if you do end up playing... Destiny 2, since I only play, like, one character, like, my Warlock or my Titan, I could, like, play with you and, you know, level with you, basically. Get it down to... Yeah. Yeah. If you well, decide. I, yeah, I just need to... I, I would, I'm would. i leveled, because I, I did play it. I just well, probably don't have any gear or whatever they do with it now. Yeah, you you still have to do, like, all the story stuff for the new, like, darkness powers, which oh, okay. are really cool and stuff, but I mean, like, I, you know, I'm... I like I say, I only play one main character, and you know I can always jump on a secondary and level with it. Oh, it's a it's a good room. I, wow. Plus, I just like uh, I want to play yeah. like the warlock. I think. Oh. Yeah, that's usually what I play too. Is, is warlock? I think the warlock's fun. Warlock is pretty fun. I just I've always been a hunter main, just because. I mean. I don't know. What you did? It's what you started with. Yep, lot. I just like jumping around a lot and doing a ton of damage. John, we found an I have a six, uh, sixteen, sixteen rune oh. on Act One Nightmare. That's that's a that's a pretty. And it was in just a, a random random actually, openable. That's actually a crazy drop. <laughs> like <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was in a it was in a random like little tomb. Yeah, in that's, uh, catacombs too. That is actually literally an insane. Problem. Here's the. Uh, here's the waypoint. Sweet. Because I think that's that was a. Uh, was that the highest rune we found last season? It was either 16 yeah. or 18. Yeah, I think we got a pull. I didn't. Oh, you did. Yeah. I did. Got I got. I got a pull. Yeah. Now I'm not saying it was. You know. I don't think I ever used it, and now it's gone into the ether, but, you know. But you had it, and that's what mattered. Yeah. Well, you know, I never saw one in the main one. Like, yeah. it's... I... Look at Look at George opening everything now that I got a good rune out of. Yeah, I always open everything. I'm addicted to clickables. If it blows up, it's, it's yours, basically. Uh, yeah. On. I like how we just go completely opposite directions. It's like, yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah. Fast way to find the down. Efficient. Yes. Mm. Now you understand when Scooby and the gang were like, let's split up, gang. Oh, God. I, I just watched your health tank. <laughs> yeah, they, they were looking for I was saying that. They were looking for loot. <laughs> <laughs> Like your health just on my screen, it went from full green to little red dot. <laughs> yep, I really yep. thought I was gonna die as I was saying that, and I was like, that would be really embarrassing. Why this no is awkward. Scrappy. Yeah. Oh motherfucker! Y'all remember that when the Scooby Doo movie came out and Scrappy was a real fucking cunt? <laughs> like, oh yeah. yeah. I do. <laughs> Like, what a fucking bull for them to do. They're like, yeah, let's make. They found it. Beneath the ruins of a. You got it. Yeah, they All never right. should have portal been scrappy. Let's make Scrappy do the worst person the ever. Civility, feeding them their strength. Actually, I'm gonna go through that real we quick. We must destroy. Yeah, I'm in pot. And send their souls yeah. screaming. Maybe back. I'll watch the Snyder Cut if I just get on a fucking wild ham. It's just four hours long, dude. I don't know how in the fuck you guys do that shit. Yeah, I don't have patience to watch four hours of anything. I'm doing it. I mean, you watched yeah. the Highlander growing up all the time and Braveheart and shit, Jared. Like, <laughs> I, did. I did do that. I was all about Braveheart. Yeah, that was a winner. You could basically quote that movie. I was like, God, how did? How many times the did you watch this movie. three-hour movie? <laughs> <laughs>
That's that's a real thing. There's nothing uh, wrong with it, man. I'm just like, you know, if you want to take up like 13% of your day, like that's fine. 13% <laughs> of your day. Uh, uh, I ain't gonna stop uh, you. Here, George, throw this in your stash in case you want to use it later. I mean, or or don't. It's just a it's a <laughs> martial arts amulet for assassins. Oh, cool. Thanks. I mean, I I literally I picked up two amulets. One of the ones was the one that you said. Oh yeah, I uh I can't fit this in my in my inventory. Are you and playing a, the same. an assassin? No, I'm not. Oh, I, mean, I have George. an extra one. I'm not planning on it, honestly. But... Oh, okay. Honestly, I have an extra one too, John, if you ever do decide you want to get on and fiddle with it. Yeah, I mean, you know, if I'm going to level, I'll do it in, like, one of my, like, insomnia phases of the yep, night. Yeah, just le level, some, level some Diablo Yeah, I'll be like, I go. can join you guys now, and you'll be like, what the fuck did you <laughs> How did you know how I've been playing the past few days? That's why I had to start a druid, because I'm like, if I, if I just keep leveling my Amazon, I'm never right. going to play with Jared again. This is not true, as it turns out, because I'm like the world's worst about just accidentally over leveling. <laughs> like, I'll just yeah. start playing and be like, ah, oh, on nuts. I did it again. You did it yeah. a few times, even <laughs> while we were playing. But we yeah. also, well, you and I both out leveled like everybody we were playing with initially, so. Yeah, that's. Exactly we uh, what we kind of ran them over. <laughs> well, everybody just, you know, sort of stopped. And yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Like, if you have stuff to do, it's going to be great. But, and I was I was happy to go back and, and run with them and help them with drops. Yeah. Yeah. Just kind of like, nobody ever really got back on. Honestly, We're... Greg would probably play if we if we asked him to play. I but think he just so. doesn't have time to he doesn't have time to catch up right now. He's is he not off work or I think he's off next month. Next Actually, month. Actually he might be fine. He might be fine now because he said he got a new job already, so I don't know what Greg's doing. Well, because I thought he was gonna be off for like a uh, in between the jobs. Yeah. So. Yeah, he is. What is he doing? Uh, um, he is still in Detroit, and he was working for an insurance company, and now he's working. He's moving to. Uh, he's moving to a company that they, that they, his com current company works with. I don't know exactly what they do. They program if, if something automotive, okay. automotive and insurance programming of some sort. I, I have very, very, very little. <laughs> right. Just it's to funny, be completely honest. Yeah, I work in insurance too, so. Yeah. <laughs> like a jargon filled world for me. Like I get a vague idea, but like I took like one computer science class, you know what I mean? Oh, this is gonna fucking suck. We are not hitting her very hard. Nope. Now I look for cancer rocks every day. Cancer rocks. That's what they are, man. <laughs> it's just. No, 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 no. Don't run on her. Oh, I'm not going to make it. For being the bestest, it's not the bestest. All right, I'm kiting for a second if you want to, you know, whack her. Yeah, except I have, like, no HP. Did we drop? Oh, shit. I didn't realize how poisoned I was. I don't think we ever dropped one of those, by the way. I have we were button. playing a very dangerous game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't have any more health pots, and Me I either. am like mega poison. Yep. No risk, no reward. Yeah, that's what we're living. I feel like we talked about this earlier. We did. Yeah, I feel like we should have died, but uh, well, I would have died. They probably would have been fine. Oh, uh, Lee was the ace in the hole. He uh, really was. He still had like he had like 40 health. Yeah, which just... was enough to maybe survive one hit from that thing. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Okay, was cool. I did stand up and club that thing for like 20 some odd damage though, so that felt pretty good. <laughs> you got another ice heart. Yeah, you can have it. Uh, and then you can take this Sanders back 
since uh, now, you know, we both have one. <laughs> okay. Oh, I will say, Jared, next season in Destiny, they're bringing back the Vault of Glass, so... Oh, yeah, you told me that. Yeah, dude. I am super pumped. That was okay. my favorite raid. That one was fun. I bet I can get All Gre right. Greg will play that one with me. God, I'm sure. I'm sure you're right. All right, Ashley needs help with something real quick, so I'm, I will be back. Yeah, go be All a right. good husband. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. So where are you at, George? I'm in Colorado. Colorado, hey. That is somewhere, if I wasn't living in LA, I'd probably live in Colorado. I love it. Yeah. I've never been to LA, I've always, uh, I was supposed to go last July, but, you know, so. <laughs> But, uh, the world <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was supposed to go for a singing contest, but, uh, that, that, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's one of those places I visited way back in, like, uh, would have been my senior year of undergrad, like, when my brother moved out here, and, uh, mm -hmm. I really, like, fell in love, like, out here, like, I don't know, it's, it is an absolutely crazy place, but, like, you know, I don't know, like, the opportunities and, like, everything I get to experience out here is just really kind of cool. Right, yeah. Yeah, you're just dealing with, like, you know, crazy traffic and all the other shit, but I mean, like, whatever. I get to yeah. live somewhere where it's sunshine, like, 90% of the time, so that's pretty great. The traffic there might kill me, but... You know, it, it's bad, but the main thing about LA is, like, you just can't be in a hurry to get anywhere. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you just have to, like, acknowledge the fact that, like, okay, I'm gonna go somewhere and I'm gonna have to, like, leave and, like plan out my, like, time to, uh, get anywhere, you know, like, you can't just, like, be like, oh, it'll only take me 30 minutes, like, if you're lucky, it does. <laughs> the way I live my life, I'm not sure that would work out for me. <laughs> I mean, I'm lucky in the fact that my job is only, like, a 15 to 20 minute commute every day, which is, like, mm -hmm. super nice, because most people drive an hour or more, you know, so, uh, I'm yeah. very grateful for that, but, uh, um, other than that, I mean, you know, I get, it's like the food out here is great, the, you know, the weather's great, like, Colorado food, not that great. Really? I don't think so. Maybe in, like, Metro Denver, but in Colorado Springs. Right. Oh, okay, okay. I have another friend who lives out in Colorado Springs, and she's the... She says it's alright. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful area, you're a lot closer to a lot of, like, nice parks and wilderness. Right. Uh, as opposed to Denver. But Denver's closer to some of the bigger, like, state parks. I don't know. Denver's closer if you want to commute to a park. Oh, okay. Springs is nicer if you want to have, like, a very local park, I feel like. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, you pass through Denver whenever I um, drove across the country to get out here, and uh, it was nice. I really liked Denver a lot, but uh, I could see where Denver would probably be really expensive to live, especially since, you know, I feel like whenever they legalized, like, marijuana out there, it just caused everything to get even more expensive. Yeah. Yeah, and my wife and I would love to live in Denver. Like, we like it, and she's a city person. Like, right. she grew up in New York. Oh, okay. So, okay. Yeah, she would love to be in Denver, but we just never did. I mean, just mostly because my job until recently wasn't really this remote, and I didn't want to commute that right. far. So you work in insurance, though? Yeah, I work for Progressive. Nice, okay. My insurance. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you for your business. <laughs> <laughs> you, you pay my yearly raise. Yeah. Or yearly bonus. My company is trying not to give everybody raises this year, and we're all like, this. basically, we're all like, hey, hey, we work for you through the pandemic. Yeah, totally. I think that I think they'll end up giving it to us just because they they're typically fine with it. It's just they're trying to be stickler right now, you know. Yep. 
Yeah, I work in a. I look for investments. Building materials. Right. Yeah, we used to. So in college, um, I lived in a fraternity house that used to be an old, like basically orphanage. It was, you know, home for Indiana wards of the state or something like that. Yeah, you went to Rose, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so the Pike House was an old orphanage. Um, it was off campus. But we had our party house was in a building that was like a exterior, an area like an uh, ex, I guess like a detached dormitory that they built for the orphanage. Uh, probably back in the early like 1900s. And uh, yeah, that was that was definitely asbestos ridden. Oh, absolutely, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The running joke was always that, you know, yeah, we cleaned it as best as we could. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sure yeah, I've heard it a million times. I guarantee you have those, like, old pipe wraps that are, like, 100% asbestos, <laughs> like, you know, like... Oh, hell yeah. Heck, we probably still had those in some of the main living areas. Guaranteed. Because aside from when we had parties, that, you know, that building was just literally, like, trash workshop. Right. Avoided. We had one that literally was used for trash. We stored out of like, recycling there and then went and turned in all the cans to try and make some money. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, it's like... The job is decent, for sure. It's just, um... Uh, not the most... Exciting job, and also I always think. Yeah. Okay, as a total uh, outsider. Yeah. It would seem like asbestos is one of those things that eventually you're not going to need to have people to look for it anymore. But I assume that eventually is probably still a while away. Yeah, it's a while away. It's kind of crazy how much we actually still find, um, because. And I didn't even know this, but I mean, you know, they were using it in everything up until the 70s, right? Right. Um, until they finally figured out, like, oh, wait, this is carcinogenous, you know, like it just fucking breaks apart and splinters into your lungs and then you can't breathe, right? So, uh, yeah, fun to do that. Yeah, but they used it in everything. I mean, they used it in like brake liners, gaskets, uh, you know, they would put it into the drywall mud that they put over the drywall. Uh, wow, okay. Yeah, they put it into floor tile mastics, like, you know, the glue on the floor tiles, they put it in, I mean, it was common that they would wrap, duct wrap with it, and that stuff is like 100% asbestos. Uh, they put it into cigarette filters, I mean, they used it everywhere, because it was a really good flame retardant material. Um, and, I mean, unfortunately, uh, Trump in the last, whenever he was like, you know, in the last four years, whenever he was doing things, he deregulated it again, basically. Oh so God. all these places that still had it started to sell it again and probably use it. So I guarantee, like, there's still a shit ton of it out there. Jesus. I mean, we found it everywhere. I mean, we found it at, you know, various, we found it at banks, we found it at, you know, schools, you find it at amusement parks like you know it, it's it's everywhere it's just crazy like lax because it was sold in their old sector you'd find it in their stuff like uh. and the thing is like people over i think they overreact to how dangerous it actually is because like unless you're just sitting there like huffing it right <laughs> you're probably gonna be okay you know like unless you're just like really in direct contact with it a lot um, because most of it's trapped in, like, you know, it's trapped in the glue, it's trapped in the drywall mud and stuff. It's only if you start to do, like, you know, construction projects where, like, that stuff can get airborne. Yeah. Then, then it's a problem. But yeah, there's, there's a surprising amount of it out there. And I mean, the main thing is, too, is, like, short of them doing any sort of like xrd stuff or whatever else they aren't going to like you have to have a human eye in order to kind of detect it because just the way that you have to prep the samples and do things it's not something that can be automated luckily okay so there's a bit of job security in that but it's still just kind of like 
at least in my lifetime, right? I'm not going to have to worry about, like, not, you know, like, them being like, well, we don't need to find this anymore, so. Right. Yeah, we've officially declared America as best as free. Yeah, like, that is a long way off just from the sheer amount, because there's still, like, there's still warehouses out there that I bet have things with asbestos in it, you know, and they don't even know. And it gets yeah. used in a construction project and then whatever else. So, and, and that's why, like, at least out here in California, I think if you do any sort of construction or demo, you have to send it all out for testing. So it's basically like an infinite supply of work. <laughs> yeah. The same with any sort of like fire stuff too. Cause I mean, we get stuff from all over the world and the country and whatever, and like the Oregon fires and all that. We just went through like a huge, huge batch of like samples from them and even though they were classifying all of it as hazardous material whether it came back positive or negative or not you know um there were still some houses out there that like you could tell like they had some really positive stuff in it so yikes yeah. it's it's really interesting but it's also like you know kind of terrifying about like how much of it is actually around and where it's at so right <laughs> well, a lot of industrial stuff uh, is full of it. Yeah, yeah. Because it was built, you know, it was built in a in the time where it was still acceptable to use as a fire retardant, and a lot of industrial facilities were required to have fire retardant materials. Yeah, yeah. My last uh, my last job up in Indy, uh, there was a whole building that was just, I mean, it was Covered a whole building was constructed. Yeah. So, and it was just an old building. I mean, it had wood, wood plank floors and everything. Oh, man. Yeah, I mean, it's very possible that my company or one of the other companies, like, we tested it all for you, you know, and they probably, like, go through and they're like, wow, this is, uh, bad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, there's been a few things that I've seen that I'm just like, oh, my God. There was one time we got a really fucking weird sample it was drywall and it had asbestos in it and that is terrifying whenever you find that because it's like what the yeah because drywall is really frangible yeah that's the thing i was like where the fuck did you like who's putting fucking amosite into drywall like yeah, who <laughs> manufactured this like, yeah like where did that you formula? get this yeah and the crazy thing was it was right down the street in pasadena from where i work like literally right down the street like i was like less than a mile away at some bank i was like <laughs> what the fuck? That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, it was it was wild. I was just like, okay, well, um, I hope that whenever they were, you know, taking the sample on this, they had a fucking respirator on, because uh, seriously, right. just taking it, they've been exposed. Yeah, I gotta turn my game down. I had to put you guys on speaker because my phone's about to die. Oh, you're good. Oh, yeah. Which you know makes all the sense because you know. Can't have headphones and a charger plugged in at the same time. No, no, oh, no. Bro, stop being a pleb and get a Bluetooth headset. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hey, you might be the man to talk to okay. on that because I want to get one, but I don't know which one I want. Oh, I'm not the man to talk to. You never know. You could be. <laughs> I could be, but you could I was be that joking. man. I really don't know anything about them. I have a few Bluetooth ones. They've been cheap ass ones that I kind of hate and. Yeah, see, I've I've used the cheap ones before, and every time I use the cheap ones, I uh, I miss the one nice one I I had, because I bought a nice one when I was uh, right after college, because I would use it like, because I'd walk places in Indy, mm -hmm. and I didn't want to just have my phone out all the time, so I would use it while I was walking, sure, and things like that, yeah, and. I mean uh, I have opinions on headsets, but not Bluetooth ones. Like, I still, my daily headsets that I sit for work and for gaming with you guys right now is a Sennheiser wired set that I love. The Sennheisers are always nice. Yeah. Well, my and, you know, that's another option, too, right? Is that maybe I need to do something like that. Yeah, Sennheisers are a good brand. I, I have never had any anything wrong with the Sennheiser. That being said, I will warn you about I, I 
have a little bit less confidence in them since they started partnering with EOS, I think, or EPOS or something, hmm. um, to make gaming gear. Oh, they made, yeah. they made my USB DAC, and I kind of hate it. I found the down, by the way. Yeah, I'm using the uh, for my headset the HyperX one. I'd, I'd have to look up the exact thing on it, but it's uh, it's pretty good because I, I like it because it's a USB mic, but it also has it has two separate channels, one for the game and one for the chat. Okay. And so I can actually balance between like Discord and the game that I'm playing and like, you know, make you guys come through for me, but it doesn't like mess with my audio channel like if I'm say like streaming or doing all that shit. So Oh nice. Yeah. It just so feels wrong. My barbarian merc is still using this little flimsy ethereal like hatchet. But it's like yeah. twice the damage of anything else I found for him. Yeah, that one from the, the Dead of Evil? Um, I don't even know. Actually, no, I think this is one I found before I even joined your game. Actually, Jared, they just came out with the new Xbox wireless headset, didn't they? Yeah, they, well... Is it Bluetooth, or is it... I don't know. I think it's both. I mean, both or either. Did that actually release? I knew it was, they announced it, but I didn't know if it was out yet. Look. Um... Oh, that stung. That really hurt. Because I know they were, you know, they were coming out with it, and I, I think I read a review on it that somebody was like, "This is actually pretty fucking good." So. Well, that's good because, I mean, I, I didn't dislike the other ones that they did. They just. Well, I mean, you, you always want the earpiece one, but I don't think they'll ever make that again. I don't think so because all the surround sound gaming. Yeah. Is so important now. I just like to be able to walk around and. Oh yeah, I think you'd like this. I mean, it looks like it's pretty good, and I mean, since you have the series, it would pair with it really well. Yeah, it does have Bluetooth. Okay, so I could use it for either. Yep. It'd be it'd be pretty pretty simple. Flip my board then. Yeah, because yeah, it has a, uh... it has a USB C charging cable that's fourteen inches long. Oh yeah. That's um, what I'm talking about USB C, so you can just get another one. I mean, it gets all the way down to 20 hertz on the fucking speaker response, which is pretty damn good. So. How um, much do they run them? That is the good question. Um, I'm betting on I'm betting on 120 to 200 somewhere in there. 30 minutes of charging provides about four hours of battery life, and it has a 15 hour uh, maximum battery life per charge. Pretty good. 15. 15. Yeah. Yep. Um, 15 is okay. Yeah. There it is. Best Buy. Oh, God. Oh, God. They are kind of 100 bucks. Uh, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's really not bad at all. Honestly, I would I would even consider getting, like, just to have a wireless headset would be nice. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm sort of due for one ever since I switched phones and... Yeah, hopefully you'll be able to do the PC upgrade eventually, too, if they can ever figure out the GPU problem. Yeah. I've got one of those, Marge, if you want it. Sure. Uh, well. Yeah. It's good for a... Yeah. It, it's good for a character that that you're just starting out because uh, it's a pretty low level wreck to get four four potion slots. Oh, I meant to tell you, uh, do you need a brand of stock? Like, uh, I, I found a... Uh, in real life. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> yeah, can I just ship you a brand of stock? <laughs> Me your address. Neat. Mm. You won't say no. I guarantee it. Mm-mm. I'm intrigued. Right? It is intriguing. I'm actually going to grab a, an Act 2 Merc and oh, put it on him. Much. I know, right? I was tempted to do that, but... Yeah, which one's the Blessed Aim one? Is it... Uh... Uh... Oh, it actually tells you on Act 2. 
Look at that. Hey, they used to not. They used to just say offensive, defensive, and what combat. Mm -hmm. I know, but it still doesn't in uh, Act One. It doesn't tell you like what the things are. I don't think. I think it tells you the element, but you have to know that like what aura goes with what element. I don't know. I just lost a bunch of gear that was on my other mercs I forgot. He didn't have anything super good, but... I know. Been there, done that. Beneath the ruins of a cup, Oops. In the shadow of an old colony ship, we've located the House of Devils... That's what I got to say about that. In the high Oops. Soup, feeding them their strength. We must destroy this machine guard. And send... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is actually a good... That's actually a really good Barbarian Helmet. Ew. Two to Battle Command, two to Increase Speed, two to Find Item. I'll take it. For leveling. You feel like you need to find item? What? Yeah, you Find Item's really good. Yeah, you want to use it on bosses. Then, like, well, you can't use it on big bosses, but use it on, like, a shank and, like, the, you know, like, the little mini boss, mini bosses that are yeah. easy to get to that are right by waypoints. <clears throat> I think people use it ba mainly because they, uh, barbarians have extra... Um, they have extra points. I feel like barbs. I don't know. Every time I played one, I'm just like, well, what do I do? Yup. It's kind of a thing. I, uh, I got a, a unique item, I don't know, it's been a while back, it's when we first started playing, that I, I just have to chuckle at. It's a dirk, and it's called the Diggler. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, I had that one. The Diggler. Diggler. Alright, our next quest. Yeah, where'd you take off to? I just started You're running around for the, yeah. Bizarre. Yeah, Ashley made me get food while I was downstairs too. Yeah, my wife decided to pick, a, pick up a shift, so she's gone from six to nine, so she should just be finishing up here. Mm. So I'll probably log off when she gets home, but. Chicken we made the other night. We have lots of taco goodies. We try to do that keto thing, and so we've got, um, we just bought a bunch of, like, super low-carb tortillas that are pretty decent, so we have, like, keto giant chipotle burritos, like, two days in a row. Huh. Keto's really tasty. My brother does it a lot, but, like, if you aren't doing keto and you just try and eat the keto stuff, it's so full of fat. Like, good oh, fucking yeah. god. Well, and my wife has a hard time with greasy foods, so, like... <laughs> Ah. It's walking that fine line of like high yeah. fat, but it can't come across as greasy. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of a uh, kind of difficult. Yeah, like she'll eat a little bit of bacon with breakfast, but like keto is like put bacon in everything, and she's like, no, please don't. Do uh, does she like spicy stuff? Do jalapeno poppers and stuff? Usually she does. Um, lately she's been trying to figure out some kind of stomach thing. Like spice ah, and acid yep. has been like really messing her up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like kind of Turns out as we get older, our stomachs don't like that sort of thing. Yeah. yeah, but for her, it's even like if she has like tomato sauce on pasta at dinner at like six o'clock, she'll wake up at like two a.m. wanting to throw up. Like, oh, really? Like, too acidic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's like really bad for her. So she's going to the doctor trying to figure that shit out. Those yeah. are, um, those should be uh, padillas or whatever. They are. Are they any better than the ones I have? I don't think that rolls is a range, does it? And actually, the defense is worse. <laughs> I was hoping there would be like a higher level version of it or something. 
I've already got a set, so you can toss them. Or whatever you want to do with them. Yeah. Send them to my a druid or something. Yeah, they do have a run walk, don't they? Yeah. I think they put 30 most of that on the uh, lot of boots mod. Which is good. I mean, I feel like it's such a basic thing. Like any enchanted boot probably should make you walk a little bit faster. I think it feels better. Well, I think they also removed the. Um, they the removed armor. the penalty. Yeah, the penalty because that just kind of sucked. <laughs> it did kind of well because it didn't change any builds, right? They were thinking originally it was kind of a cool idea, right? Like maybe if you want to be a little faster, you wear lighter armor. But then nobody did that because Why the would builds you? required you to. Yeah, the builds require you to wear certain armor, and if you don't, you're gonna die. Right, so... I'm gonna disappoint my teammates. on the internet. I'm really not doing the kind of damage I feel like I should be doing. Be a hero, and there are times to be a coward. Those secondary times. Yeah. <laughs> oh, by the way, I got a uh, amulet that's plus one to Amazon skill levels. Actually, I'm using that. I thought you were showing me something. Oh yeah. <laughs> I was like, man, yeah, this, this amulet's I'm junk. Now. I mean, it's just a blue. I yeah. So. I'm using a, I'm using an amulet of luck that is literally just magic find. Hey, that's what, actually what I was using before, and I was like, uh, do I want to give up the magic find? I'm like, I don't know. Plus one to all skills is pretty good. Yeah. Always take the skiller. Yeah. Mine's a max roll magic find amulet, though. I've got 35% on it. Damn. Mine was like 32, so it's pretty good. Man, yeah, John, my uh, <laughs> my MF earlier was 181. Yeah, you were saying that. Like that's. It's just silly. It's it's like 176 now. I ended up swapping something down. But still really high. Right. But I also do like probably half the damage I should. Realistically. I mean, it's that fine line, right? Like, can you at least still kill things and get here? You know. Oh yeah. Yeah. Now, probably in Act Four, I won't be able to. No, but. But I'd say through Act Two, maybe most of Three, I should be all right. It's a later problem. Yeah. That's a like tomorrow to later problem. Yeah. Probably so. I'm really just uh, I'm using this character's magic find to farm for my other characters. Because oh, I yeah. keep getting all the shitty sets, right? Because they drop off everything. Because the MF's so high, I'm getting, like, we're getting set items off just random mobs. Right. Yeah, we are. I mean, that's the ideal way to do it, though. I mean, otherwise you spend... Just farm them back. Otherwise you spend just, like, so much time, like, farming shit that... There's the, the down right here. I have a question. Yeah. Why are we here? <laughs> this is Big not question. Right. Did I enter the wrong thing? This is where you get the cube. We already have the cube. Oh, fuck. Hey, you're doing that magic fine run. I know. I'm so used to going here first. Well, I mean, I, I did the whole level with you. <laughs> yep. <laughs> not... I'm over here just asking the uh, the hard questions. <laughs> Why are we here? Because we had to kill Puke Feast. Yeah, I, I think that checks out. Yeah, we're out yeah. to the town. Yeah. Oh, uh, like my, my dude died. Probably because he didn't have any armor on. Sent him out into the world <laughs> naked. Yeah. My, my dude died too, and he did have armor on, so I'm not sure it really mattered. Well, Puke Feast must have been... Uh, He's pooping on people. Yeah. Oh, with a name like that. Yeah. 
I like weekend. how we didn't turn around though. Like, fuck it, no <laughs> I, I mean, you're committed, right? So, like, yeah. We don't need to do the third level because there's not a chest or anything down there. Just, uh, I think it's time to just cut our losses and leave. I'm just gonna portal and go revive my. Merc yeah, anyway. probably smart. Think about what you've done. Yeah. That was pretty slick, is what that was. Hey, you know what? Uh, I got a tell of your house, okay? Hey, uh, hey. you know. Rail tell, man. I got, I actually got a, um, I got a four socket staff. Like, it's so funny. I have all the, like, fire gear when I'm set on not playing a fire source. They make it really hard not to want to do it because, I mean, it can be like. Yeah. I have all. Stash space. I know, right? I'm getting I'm, I'm about to have to mule some stuff over, I think. At least they're actually doing a shared stash in Resurrection. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I like, think that's big. Glad they realized, like, muling, yes, it's a tradition. Is it a fun part of the game? No. Yeah, it's like, why keep it? <laughs> You know there's some neckbeard out on Reddit. Oh, absolutely. Reddit. Waiting for the thread. Diablo 2 Resurrection sucks. I remember back in the day when I had to have 15 mules. <laughs> One to hold all of my Stone of Jordan. <laughs> Gamers have it too easy now. We don't have a waypoint. Nope. <laughs> we certainly don't. Hey, there's a uh, there's a TP over here at Dry Hills. That one from that shrine you hit. Oh, look at that! Yeah. Wow. I mean, you just look at it. I've I never had one of those be useful before. <laughs> Me either. And literally, when you hit that, I was like, man, that's a dumb shrine. <laughs> Fucking hate that shrine. <laughs> I'm sorry, shrine. I apologize. Yeah. I was wrong. <laughs> look, I've been wrong before. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, it's, it's fine. I'm gonna take this gothic plate for my merc. Oops. Damn, that's potted for no reason. Yeah, maybe he won't die now. Alright. There you go, buddy. You now have armor. You're welcome. Yeah. Does that like even heal you worth the shit? Um, I was looking. Uh, little. I mean, I, it's not like I leveled it or anything. I just I had skill. And it's on my, it's on my uh, hotkeys. So.
Oh, do you have an aisle? Yeah. Wow. Nice. Wow. Fire Oasis. Was it off a of random? Yeah. Random uh, corpse? Out of a jar. Oh, yeah. Right. I just went and kicked a jug because of that. Sounds like y'all are uh, rolling it. Yeah, we're not doing bad. This is after I got rid of my magic find amulet. <laughs> It's still profit off my own. Don't need it. Okay. Dragon shield the impaler. Vengeance for whatever his barbarian name is. Suljin. Has to be Suljin. That's not a slur. <laughs> That's not a slur. Oh. Kind of keeps my work up because I know if I don't, I'll get over for that level. Yeah, but you can just buy him back at a higher level. So you keep leveling and you get like uh, bright dust and some other stuff. Like it's worth still doing for people. It's just that just shows how much you can play. So for comparison, oh. I'm at level 65. It's very light play. Okay, okay. This dude is a uh, the real one. Lost City. One second, that's gone. I dropped a portal for us for later. We're just looking for uh, the old uh, maggot layer, right? Here we go, George. Thanks, I just know that. Yeah, there's so much yeah. other information I could like have in my brain. And... Uh, uh Not as important, obviously. True. <laughs> fucking figures. Did we lose George?
high return. Daniel got a great deal on Italian sausage. They were every single pack. There were there, you know, like five packs of Italian sausage. Yeah. They were a dollar each. Okay. Yeah. No, he, he bought six of them. <laughs> he just froze them. He's like, yeah. Well, that seems real good. Yeah. <laughs> he just told me that much. Dollar. Italian. I can use pasta. Look, yeah. Seemed like it. I haven't talked to him in a while. Yeah, well, nobody's been on the Xbox. Yeah, true. <laughs> Played a little bit of pub with Josh the other day, and it was. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of why I've been. No, we didn't crash. Staying off it. Honestly. That's good. I mean. But we didn't crash at all. But we also weren't crazy long session either. <laughs> we just got a lum. George just messaged me, he says, Did you see a lum dropped? I said, No. <laughs> he goes, I did. That's I have it. They must have just upped the... Maybe so. I know they added... Well, they added... Um, um, Worldstone shards to... Every difficulty now. When I saw something where... Having, like... All the systems drop in... Act 4. Of normal. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're already dropping. Like, they were already dropping before we got... Too deep. I mean... I'm not mad about it, right? Cause the currency stuff is well. If you want, really people, if you want people to craft, you gotta give them. Yeah. Turns out that's a foolproof way to get people crafting. Oh, we'll fuck those snakes. He got a lump. I got a world stone shard. Just dropped. I haven't even, I, I had like two of them, or three of them, maybe. What, can you hide them and drop the... Yeah. It's got a 25% chance to brick it, though. Gamble. Yep. I think I need a different filter. 
because it's not like it doesn't tell me when runes drop. I have to actually look. Yeah, there's probably something I like to fix. Gefilte fish. All right, I'm back. Yeah, lucky bastard. What, getting that lum? Loom? Yeah, whatever. so does your filter call it out, like, on the top left of your screen when I draw and runes drop? Yes. Mine is not doing that. Yeah, I, I like it. Uh, which one are you using? Uh, I forget. It's, like, K-R-Y something, crystal, I don't know. There's a hell. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm stuck in here. Just there, have some healing. It's one of the built-in ones. Oh, is it? Oh, they built yeah. them in now. Fancy. It's in the yeah. locker. Yeah. I need to do that because because we had to. But when we played last season, they didn't have back in my built-in day, ones. We had to find our own built. Yeah, we had to mule fifteen mules. Yep. With right. <laughs> Fill it on the <laughs> stones of Jordan, and then that's how you got your built. Yeah, now they uh, have a list of like the most popular ones in the options, and you can just choose one. Fucking easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need to, I need to do that next launch then. The one thing I like about this filter, from what I've read and from what I'm experiencing now, is um, it has like breakpoint setup so that once you change difficulties and levels, it'll start to like change what it filters out. So like leveling yeah. will show you pretty much everything. But then as you start getting into like higher levels and nightmare and stuff, it'll start to hide a lot of stuff. Yeah. I like seeing the well, I still like seeing the low sets and like low uniques and stuff, just so I have them for other characters. Yeah, I don't know how much it's gonna filter out in that regard, but probably a way to tweak it. Oh yeah, there's always a way. But I'm not really familiar with them. This one just seemed like it was geared towards leveling plus end game or something like that. Sounds like a good like no mess one for me to try out. Yeah, just turn it on. They know more than I do. Yep, don't think about it. Yeah, the one I've got on is uh, the one I've got on keeps it shows me like uh, Larzic, like, four socket stuff. Yes, yeah, same. And I'm like, but I don't... I care about? I don't know that I care. Yeah, I don't know if I do either. It's kind of weird. Maybe I'm supposed to care. Yeah, right? I'm like, should I be caring about this? Because I don't. Yeah, because I don't have the runes to make anything from it right now. Hey. Check, check, check. Yep, I totally combat looted that one. That is the skull splitter. Hit blinds target. It's got mono regen. I don't even know who would use this. I have no idea. It's got open wounds. I mean, it's, I guess it's okay. It's not a barb. It's a it's a military pick with mono regen. It could be a necro. It's kind of thing. I mean, I, it might be okay for Paladin. I don't know. Oh Jesus! This if is I cool. was zealing or something, maybe. But it's... oh, yeah. Portal, portal. Oh God! That guy murdered me. Yes, he did. And now they're murdering me. Yep. I mean, I was just full to dead. I got a portal for this you. This is why we don't play uh, hardcore. There's a portal for you. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why I just went over to. Go I'm to gonna the I'll pop through and then I will uh, portal. Okay. Ebiverse isn't. All right, my portal is not safe. Yours probably is. Stop punching stuff. Okay. All right, I'm back. Oh god. However, I can be of service. I don't have any pots up. I'll do. No, no, we're not. Nope. <laughs> I just like got instigibed. Yeah, I'm gonna. It'll be fine. I just keep getting got, like hung up on shit, and like that thing hurts so bad. Yes, it is. 
Once he stun locks you, you just die. Yep. Did you get him? It's the salamanders. I think I might have got him. Either that or he got stuck. Did. Now we gotta go take care of the summoner. Yeah, I'm working on it. Ground cop. <laughs> nice shooting out there. Hey, uh... <laughs> Deal. Make sure you get your amulet of the viper over here. Yeah, I was just getting rid Mopping of Mopping up. Yep. Like I said, so this is why we don't play hardcore. Right. Solving problems out in the world, huh? Good for you. Crushing one. No, I really don't. It's <laughs> not for me. Not. I just don't play a tight enough game for that. I just don't trust my my internet or my computer. That for <laughs> right, it could just absolutely fuck you over one day. Or this this server. That too. Yeah. Hey, I got this uh this sweet twenty three percent MF ring. Woo woo. I'm not gonna play it, but I have it. 31. Wow. It'd be really good. Yeah. Mm mm. The highest, like. I think it's over 300. Well, I was gonna say I like on a low character. Well, um, rings cap out at 25. Amulets cap out at 35. Uh, gloves and boots are both 25. So. 50, 100, 135, and then either there's a weapon that gives 100, so 235 probably. That's just my best guess. I don't know if belts can pick up MF or not. I know, I think there's at least one that does. Right. Was it Gold Wrap or something? I think Gold Wrap has oh, yeah. magic find on it. I think you are correct. Again, this knowledge that's in my brain. For reasons, right? That, yeah, that I will never, ever, ever be able to replace with anything Here. else. I don't have any use for either of those, George. If you want them, take them. Okay, thanks. Take a look. They are filling my stash. For, you know. I'm, I'm, we're starting to get to the level where I have to stop picking stuff up. Yeah, I hear you. What? I hear you. Nice it's a really, really tough for me. Because I, I like to pick up all the things. I know. Where's my info? Oh, that's probably why I'm getting gibbed. Yeah, that's probably got a lot to do with it. I had 60 points just sitting that I hadn't put in. Damn, dude. Ooh, yeah. Okay, speaking of uh, needing room, do you want any of those Amazon things you gave me a while back? I've saved uh, them for you. Uh, uh, no, maybe. Yes. Yeah, I probably do. Here. Toss them. Uh, Toss them to me and I'll figure it out. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll have to mule them over. Yeah, those. That that's, that's, and then that one too. I don't know. No, there's so many. I know. 
Yeah, that one day I, I found literally all Amazon stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is this is neat. That's what I get for playing without you. Also, do you want a Berserker's hatchet? Uh. For your barb? No, I already have. I have. Well, so I need the other pieces, and I'm out. I just outgrew them anyway, so no. Okay. But what you can do is, if you have two of those, you can run them both, and they the set bonus stacks with the rest of the set. So the, it's a three piece set, right? right? But if you have two hatchets, they both give you plus two to barb skills. So you end up with plus four instead of plus two. It's kind of funny. Well, I will probably not play barb. So yeah, I ditch it. That's what I would do. Man, look at these. I got this really sweet fire source staff that it's got three slots so you can put uh, this leaf in it, the rune word that gives you all the fire skills. And it's already got three to fireball, one to blaze, and three to teleport. So it'll just get better. Fireball? Three to fireball. That's awesome. Yeah, it would end up giving you five. Okay. But you know, I'm holding it for reasons. And then I ended up with a... But then I've got another one right next to it. It's one to all source skills, one to teleport, one to thunderstorm. Then it's got 20 FCR on it. With some mana and resists and stuff, too. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I, not that I, you know, really need them, but I, I just can't help myself. All right, I'm ditching this brand of stock unless you want to put it on your Merc. No, nah, okay. It's going away. So be it. Intel reported increased crew activity. Seems they were right. Never good when the cabal get this frisky. Space and things. Their planning will be less effective without a commander. Get in there and take them out. What do you think? You want to take a break or you want to go do Arcane Sync? I'm ready. I can do it. I just was needing to move some stuff around. Yeah, same. I cleaned out a lot of my stash. Got rid of some lower level stuff. Hey! There's the oh, They're really easy on the solar, aren't they? Yep. It wouldn't let me in it for a hot second there. Weird. I am due to actually, like, I think I need to switch my build. Oh my god. Uh, now he's up here. I think I just looted another Fidala's battle bow. Yep, sure did. And there's absolutely nothing different about it, I don't think. Nope. You want to throw it? I've got the boots. I can put it on a Zon. I usually make them and I make all the characters and give them gear. And then if I feel like playing them, then they're geared up. They're geared and ready. And if I don't, well, I would have sold it anyway. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Ooh. I could move. You got hung up, huh? Yep. Those uh, lightning archers uh, are no joke. Yeah. Well, it's, it's deceptive, right? Because the first one hits you and you're like, oh, that wasn't bad at all. And then the next one hits you. And it's like, oh, well, wait, it just rolled really low. Yeah, because they, you know, the range is like one to like 400. 400? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, this, this feels right. Uh, the down is at the top. Yeah, we can head that way. And just fuck a whole bunch of those lightning dudes. Oh, my Merc ate shit again. Oh yeah, I forgot to get mine. I don't even know when he ate shit. I mean, I just had him. He had to have eaten shit with, with all the lightning guys. Come straight down, here's the down, and there's the waypoint, actually. Sweet. 
I don't know why we need the waypoint, but I'm gonna get it. I mean, if it's this easy, why not? Yeah. Literally not a single mob. with it because it works out in my favor, but yeah, I guess it wasn't. Maybe it was an operator error whenever I used it last. Could have been. I mean, it's a scout rifle that shoots just about as fast as I can, like, click. <laughs> so... Pretty... It's good. What's up here? Yeah. And this one should be in the middle. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Those are gonna hurt. Those should be Sanders, I think. I guess I could help. No, you're good. So they're just standing there. I was the one drawing mobs while you were really busy. Yeah. Something in there hit. Ironic that the land tank is grinding up Nessus for Cabal munitions. That's been the Vex plan for centuries. If either side I feel like I'm hitting like a wet noodle now. Wiped each other out yeah, I kind of am too. So the task falls to us. I mean, we could have saw that coming though. You saw what kind of damage we did to Andariel. Yeah. You just sort of weren't about it. Here's the down. Lilith and Dariel's daughter in the canon, so it is. Ah, uh, something like that. I, feel I like, don't remember. I think they're related. I think I looked it up when they first, like, previewed her. Yeah. Oh, it turns out I can't hurt that lightning spire with my lightning bolt. So, no. Maybe we should just keep running then. That's fine. I'm completely down for that. Ow. Yeah, because the primary attack is lightning. Yeah. Uh, and then the little holy bolts only go off when the lightning hits it, so... I just can't damage it. It's kind of cool. Even though I do two damage types. Was it Arcane Sanctuary that sucked a lot on Hell? I feel like that was one that was like real bad. Well, there's a lot of things that sucked a lot. Yeah. But... I mean, we had like my million skeletons and my uh, golems that soaked damage though. Yeah, I don't think Arcane was that bad. Because everything wasn't immune to fire. Pretty well anywhere I could, uh, anywhere that I could actually deal damage, we were fine. Oh, I think it was Act Five, the Frost Caves, like some of those knights yeah. and shit. Those things hurt real fucking bad. Yep. Well, and the uh, the Venom Lords in Act yeah. Four were fucking ridiculous. Yeah. Because they had a million health. This is the right direction. 
No, it's not. Fuck. Okay. Thought we had it. Yeah, I know, right? I feel a little bit cheated. You know what? I'm not. I'm not fucking with those lightning towers on the way back. <laughs> it's not doing it. We're gonna go around. I just went, I portaled and went to the waypoint. Yep. Way easier. Apparently I did not grab that waypoint though. Uh, yeah, are you through my, it doesn't matter if you're through my first portal. There you go. Grab portal, the portal. Yeah. Might as well. Poor guys over there without a ranged attack. I know. They it's shouldn't have been there. What's the next 40k game coming out, Jerry? The commanders are nearby. Uh, Challenge them. There's a couple of them. They there was a Necromunda one they just previewed a couple days ago for. That oh. actually looked kind of. It looked a lot like Bioshock. That's interesting. Yeah. At least a little bit I saw. There's a couple different ones coming. There's one, uh, there's the, uh, the one that's gonna be like Vermintide, uh, I think it's called Dark Tide. Right, but it's more like Space Marine focused, right? Instead of. Yeah, it, yeah it's Imperial Guard. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, Gene Steeler Cult. It's kinda cool. Uh, I think it'll be a fun one. Yeah. yeah. And then, um, so there's that. There is the one that's coming out on the computer. That's that uh, strategy or the tactics one, like turn-based tactics. I, I forget the name of that one. And then there's the uh, the one the Necromunda shooter. They just previewed. I, I came out of nowhere uh, a couple days ago. Main. Yeah, it seems like they're trying to lean more into the games, like video game side of it. They're so they're they're doing some cool things. So there was a uh, oh, this is not the correct direction. I'm out. Um, they're doing some cool things, like there's an animated like fan thing. Right. That it was uh, like a Space Marine animated like YouTube series that was like six episodes, and this guy who did it, I mean, did a fantastic job. Like a lot of the 40k community knows about it. Right. Uh, and he just finished the last like the last entry in his little series he was doing. Then it was over a couple of years he's been working on oh, it. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, and Games Workshop hired him. Nice. I mean, that's what you would ultimately like, want, yeah. They were just like, hey, uh... Your shit's good. Yeah, your shit's good. Um, we're, you know, you want to do anim more animation for us. And so they're actually, like, picking up people that yeah. are talented and are, are doing things well. Right. Instead of just trying to copy it. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, that's what you need. You need the people who are passion-driven to do it, you know, anyway, yep. right? Yep. Well, and that's what they did with... Oh, that guy hurts. Um, what do we do here? Which ring is this? Oh, look. Thank God. I could really use another. Is that all right? And there's that small charm. There's the large charm. That was what you call a bunch of hot shit for drops. The dole was okay. Yeah. The rest of it was not good. We should have a...
pretty decent stock of rooms for if anybody actually needs a particular one. I was gonna say, you guys yeah. seem like you're getting rings out the ass. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're dropping. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, you never even saw like a Zod or anything, even if like, even the, like, you know, there was somebody I saw a Reddit post, he was talking about how, you know, he like laddered original D2 back in the day. He's like, he's like, he's like, I played, I don't know how many hours and like, you know, you never like ever saw a Zod or any of that shit. Like the drop rate on it was like one in like, I don't know how many million. It was stupid. Yeah. So you gotta make these like upper end runes actually drop because otherwise what's the point of having recipes? Right. Well, then they they said something like on the original, the original D2 servers, like the Battle.net servers, there was like, on the whole ladder, there were like two. Yeah. Two or three Zods. Like, it's not, wasn't very many. Like, almost ever, right? Like, is that what it was? Like, it was basically just, yeah. yeah. On the last, on, on 13D, there, I think there were still, like, while, while ladder was up, there were only two or three. So. And how, I mean, that's that's uh, such a game-changing thing, too, right? Like, right. oh, I just happened to drop one of these, so all of a sudden I'm, you know, have something that's best in slot that nobody else can get. Right. Yeah, we find them. It doesn't make sense. Here's Summoner here. Yep. Makes you think about how few of us actually stand between humanity and evil. Yeah. yeah, split him here. I can tank him a little bit. For centuries, I've watched humanity edge closer to extinction, while new lights quibble. So I actually have decent resists for him. If the Vanguard wants a lasting peace, all right, I'm out of pots. You finish the cabal. Let's kind of chill. Oh, I just made like four town portals because I. Yep, been there, done that. <laughs> and, and, and. At least you can hold oh, Speaking of that, I better check. I'm down to 28. 28 what? I feel like it's always worth checking. Down portal. Oh, yeah. Why is this helmet so good? I'm really confused why this bassinet's worth 30,000. It's got 5% chance to cast level 3 Frost Nova when struck, 10% faster hit recovery, and 35% enhanced defense, and it's worth a shit ton of money. What were the odds on? Uh, 5% chance to cast Frost 3 level 3 Frost Nova, 10% faster hit recovery. And 35% enhanced defense. The hit recovery? I know hit recovery is pretty big, but... Hit recovery is big, but I mean... There's so many other better things you can get on a helmet. True. I think I'm officially, like, out of stash space. I gotta really start. Consider like, I'm out, out. Cleaned house. Yeah, I need to, but I just I can't bring myself to do it. Oh, Wurt's leg's going. We don't need Wurt's leg. He can go get a different leg. Sorry, but right. no room in the budget. Sorry, Wurt. Yep. Not my leg, not my problem. That's what I was say. <laughs> Oh, I got some other shit that can go. I got some uh, bunch of jewels that we don't need for crafting right now. Who the fuck sells portals in this town, Jogginen? Uh, yeah. I think. Yeah, it's him. Where's your portal merchant? Don't forget portal mats. That's the whole deal, right? 
Yeah. Your portal mass, you're getting stuck. I think part of the problem here is just my stash is so unorganized, too. Even when I took a bunch of stuff out, didn't have room. All right, Lysander, here. I'm going to just sell you all the things. Here, why don't you take Wart's leg? Oh, you can't, you don't want this guy's leg? What the hell, man? Only cows want his leg. Yeah. I'm gonna start. I gotta grab pots and portals and I'm gonna go try to stuff. find a simple. And then I'll probably hop off after that. You, so you think we're gonna get murdered by a... Oh god. By Duriel? Yeah, probably. Because I'm not doing much damage. I don't feel like we've gotten, like, actual upgrades. We've gotten a lot of neat stuff, like runes of it. Yeah, you've been getting a lot of, like... It sounds like you've gotten a lot of, like, maps, but not Use a lot of... Useful stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we can call it a night and try Daryl another time. Oh no, we're gonna we're going in. We're already this far. Something What's one more? Not no clue. Yeah. I didn't hear no bell. <laughs> exactly. The fuck is hitting me? Uh, Alright, well the temple's not down here. Okay, the next one up here is that I'm on square. Yeah, I've already been there. Gotcha. This is it, in the corner. Okay. There was a few times I went out there to the Canyon of the Magi, and I've just punched, I just picked a tomb at random and found it. Done it. Am I supposed to do this? It's max damage. Like, this is displaying differently than some of the other ones. Mm -hmm. Am I supposed to keep it? I'll keep it. Why not? Your Merc was over there just doing really good work. Like, I know. He I was, was just swinging his sword. I was just beating him up and standing back. <laughs> You're doing real good, Alarak. You want some Gatorade? Right. Here, I can even hit him with the, the you know, the power shock. The little heal. Oh, yeah. The healthy shock. The good shock. Yeah. The defibrillator. Shock therapy. I'm not so sure shock therapy is widely regarded as a good thing anymore. Yeah. Probably not. Probably not. I, I think that one's pretty, uh... Not good. Oh, no. No, not that it was <laughs> ever good, but just not. Not. <laughs> not good. Did I tell you uh, about the random neck massager that showed up at our door that <laughs> nobody bought? <laughs> what? I should check the comm relays. <laughs> have I told you this? You have not, but... So, it was before Christmas. Guardian. Did Osiris send you? A, uh, a neck massager showed up at the door. Mm -hmm. In an Amazon box. In, it was addressed to Ashley. And, uh, and we were like, what the fuck? It's not somebody else's order. We opened it. We didn't order it. We checked around. Nobody ordered it for us as a gift. So we're like, okay, we have this neck massager. Uh, and 
neck. So I was like, okay, whatever. I'll try it on and then you see if it works. Yeah. So I put it on and it doesn't really, it doesn't work. It's not doing anything. <laughs> All right, it's Ashley's got just, the remote for it. It's going to vibrate your neck. <laughs> no, it's not doing anything. It doesn't at all. Oh. No vibrations, nothing. Oh, and I've okay, got, okay. got it around my neck. And actually, I said, well, it's not doing anything. I guess to turn it up. And the next thing I know, <laughs> this motherfucker shocks the living shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so it was it was not a vibrating neck massager. It was a an electric... Like, electric shock one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Electric shock one. Oh, my God. Hammered me. <laughs> I had grabbed that thing, threw it off. Regifted it to my mom for Christmas. <laughs> she loved it. I thought I was going to get her with it. I really did. She loved it. Oh my god! So, like how I did, that did not feel good. She's like, "This is great." You're like, "What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> what is wrong with you?" Finally confirmed. My mother is a sadist. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Right. Like I just. <laughs> god. Yeah, I imagine I mean, it, it not. It be good. I mean, not expecting electrocution and. Receiving electrocution is probably yeah. up there in the list of things that aren't good experience. So. No, no, absolutely. Just one of those, like, holy fuck, why, why did somebody <laughs> think this was a good idea? Let's put this fucker on my neck that's going to just shock the shit out of me. Uh, but I'm still confused as, like, where it came from. Like, I don't... Yeah, that mystery has not been solved. Yeah. Probably never will be. No, it's probably going to end up on one of those TV shows, you know, Unsolved Mysteries. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For sure. I'd say it's got, we got a pretty solid chance of that somewhere down the line. Definitely. <laughs> Prime material. Looking for some new games. Dang it. Mm. Yes, yes, Guardian, by all means. Let's get started. Thanks for that. <laughs> yeah, anytime. A little shock therapy. <laughs> it was a massage. Yeah. Ow, 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 ow. There were a lot of them on the other side of that door. They just kind of, ooh, look at there. Get some soul. I like the soul runes. There's a lot of useful words that use them. That charm was dog shit, though. Maybe we're not getting as many good drops because they want us to actually craft something. Maybe. I mean, they did, like, buff crafting a lot, I think, this season. I was reading in the patch notes. Like, some of that stuff yeah. that people have been crafting that they've been showing on, like, the Reddit is absolutely Oh, yeah. I've been, been kind of looking at the Reddit. I'm going to die. Oh, shit. Don't do that. I didn't die. You did not. Clutched. Highly recommend that you don't do that. Yeah, what you're going to want to do is just not die. Nope. <laughs> what do you need? I'm glad I potted when I saw you run toward it. <laughs> it was a fire shrine. The one that just casts combustion and, you know, tries to kill you. Yeah, yeah. Yep. That checks out. It was fun. I laughed. <laughs> <laughs> now, if this was hardcore, that'd be a real different story. Yep. Careful out there. 
Again, this is why we don't. This is why we don't hardcore. Well, it, it takes you back to the old po days. On when we were racing. <sighs> That's to be just so Still devastating. Won't... What? I don't know, just doing hardcore, like, getting so far and then... Just fucking boom. Yeah. It just... Yeah. I would rather die. Like so, that's why, like in the Poe races, that was fine, right? Because you you didn't you invested a couple hours into it, right? And then it's, yeah. and then if you died, okay, you, you died. It wasn't like oh my my the, my last two weeks, right? Let's see here, pot up. Yeah, sell me all your stock, Lysander. Damn. This amulet's 18 to all resistances. What's that? That's really good, actually. You should hold on to that, just... Like, like that's okay. kind of good. Yeah. You guys that's, ever a, watch... that's a winner. Do you guys ever watch ProZD? Mm-mm. Uh... ProZD. That? The Asian voice actor guy? Yeah, 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 I watch him. I've seen him do... Like, been doing a bunch of snack reviews lately. Oh, yeah, yeah. Apparently he like started on Vine. I could see that, yeah. Right? Uh oh. Yeah, the fuck? I think my game. Oh, just... it's like frozen as fuck, isn't it? Yeah. I think server crashed. I think it did. <laughs> no, we don't play hardcore. <laughs> right, we were about to go kill uh, Duriel. Oh, fuck all. Or rather be killed by Duriel, maybe. Yeah, no shit. I tried to do a save and exit. I think someone from the future. How'd that go? Uh, it let me out. Okay. I'm uh, not trying to be vague. I have no idea what half this stuff. Yeah, uh, so hold on. Lakshmi sure does love her secret. Lost connection to battle.net. It yeah. let me log back in. Servers down. Yep. Crash. <laughs> well, I guess we're stopping. Yep. I'm gonna go. Uh... Visit with my wife, who is now home, and uh, right. might have to run out. But, but hey, thanks for playing. Yeah, it was fun. Well, uh, hey, we're we're almost halfway through Nightmare. Yeah, you made yeah. progress. Yeah, we got to keep doing this. Oh yeah, for sure. For sure. All right, I'll catch y'all later. Later. See you, George. Uh. I imagine oh, you're uh, close yeah. to death at this point, Jerry. I'm, I'm. I don't. I can't tell if I'm waking up. It's like done. Yeah. I mean, my advice for any sort of hangover day is honestly hair of the dog, but it's very hard. Oh uh, no. I don't even follow that advice, but I know it works. Oh, it does. But then the next day is even worse. Yeah. Guardians. What's why you have like a Bloody Mary? You don't have like four Bloody Marys. <laughs> like... Yeah. But still. Yeah. It's hard to, uh. Oh, uh... I just. I said I'm just worn. I'm more worn out now than anything. Right. I got added. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to look at these loot profile filters. Yeah, mine just says coming soon. What, your loot filters? Yeah. Is it because I... Is it because I added that one on my own? Maybe. You think? Or it's like the launcher itself needs to update and... But you'd have to maybe download the launcher separately or something. I don't... Uh... Like, after, uh... I feel like you could probably just find one on the... on the Reddit or something, or even in the Discord. I'm just gonna take a picture of this. And so George would be like, well... You know, yeah.
control developer. Making games for two generations of consoles at once sucks. <laughs> yes, I believe that. Look at Cyberpunk. I'm wondering if they're actually going to do another official RimWorld expansion. Yeah, I I bet they will, but I don't know if it'll be... Or you, well, I, I wonder if they will do that or if they'll take off and do something different with the same engine. Yeah, I'm kind of curious, like, what... The only thing I could think of is if they tried to do something multiplayer that was officially supported, which would be pretty cool, but um, I don't even... There's so many things that people have just added to the game through the workshop that it's like, I don't even know what you like. You can literally make that game into whatever you want. So, yeah. Oh. Oh, no. Man, they've been doing all sorts of stuff with uh, this. Uh... I don't know if I've told you anything about it, but this, so Atomic Mass Games uh, is a studio that did, that's, they're the ones who did the Marvel game that I was did all that painting and stuff on. Yeah. They picked up, um, so Asmodee bought them. Okay. Which is a big European game company. Right. Uh, and Asmodee also, they've been acquiring all sorts of people. And they have Fantasy Flight, who did X-Wing and all that stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, Asmodee just yanked development of X-Wing, Legion, Armada, all the Star Wars uh, tabletop games from Fantasy Flight and handed it to Atomic Mass. I don't know if Atomic Mass was ready for it or not, but they are fucking running with it. Wow. That's, and, pretty, uh, that's, that's pretty big, actually. That's rich, huge. Uh, and At Atomic Mass is a fairly small, but they are they are doing like just outstanding work so far with the Marvel game. And they just put out, I was, I follow them on Facebook because that's where they put their previews out. It's like the only place you can get reliable information is actually their social media. Wow. And they don't put it on their website or anything. Right, right. Which baffles me. Maybe I'm just getting <laughs> old. But, uh, well, that's more yeah. community managers are starting to actually like do it in that way. So, yeah. And, uh, well, they, uh, they just put out a bunch of, they just put out a bunch of previews on the, the next wave of Spider Man stuff for Marvel. I'm pretty excited. Nice. Cause they're doing, uh, they're finishing off Spider Foes. So, like, they're doing Carnage and Mysterio and, and, is, uh, is Venom technically a Spider Foe? <clears throat> yes. Okay. Technically, he, uh, yes, <laughs> he's affiliated with Spider Foes in the game. Right. But he ends up being kind of a more of a neutral. Yeah. Yeah. Because he's depending on which comic you're in, he's either against Spider Man or with Spider Man or right. You know, right. kind of doing his own thing. It just depends on where you're... What you're reading, what universe, blah, 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah, because the Spider-Man universe is weird because they've done, they've done the whole Spider-Verse thing where there's all sorts of different Spider-Man timelines and... Right. And they've just made it all... Because, well, because they... If you remember, like, the Spider-Man cartoons, they did, like, eight separate... I don't think, I know if it was eight. It might have been five or six separate Spider-Man cartoons that they rebooted uh, across, I don't know, 10 or 15 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So all that stuff now. No, take it all. It's all camp. It's all fine. So that's one way to do it. They basically it's, did it's, the it's, Zelda timeline treatment to it, where they're like, yeah, it's all yeah. it's all there. <laughs> it's all there. It's going to be fun. So, I, mean, no, I, I just, I like the, I like Spider-Foes a lot. They, 
mainly I like Venom and Venom and Carnage. So and Mysterio is pretty cool. So I'm glad I'm, I'm there's enough of them to play. Right, right. Come summer to play them together. Because there's because I've got Green Goblin and Green Goblin and Venom painted, and I've got Kingpin uh, assembled but not painted. Because I don't really want to paint his white suit because it's gonna be a pain. Right. But but yeah, they're they're doing that, and they had a they're releasing like an apartment building, like a terrain piece with it too, which I think the, it looks pretty cool. It's like a New York apartment building, like a three story. Yeah. I bet it'll be like I bet it'll be expensive though, because it's a big big hunk of plastic. Yeah, I mean they, you know, the bigger the plastic, the more they charge. So. Exactly, it's a heavy box. Oh, this is funny. It says, in in high school, our gym teacher asked us who we thought the smartest teacher in school was. We guessed the AP Chem teacher, pre-calc teacher, and the AP Physics teacher, etc., etc. Yeah. He goes, nope, it's me. Because I get paid the same as those guys, and I play dodgeball all day. <laughs> yep, yep. Absolutely true. <laughs> you know... I didn't think about that. Dude. I mean, thinking back on it, yeah, it was like, it's like, wait, they don't, you know. Mm-hmm. Can't get squadrons. I think it's like 30-something. Yeah, all down. 